Uh, but so will the Corky. Oh, the Rise! Oh, Rise puts it uh, pulls it together as <laughs> Team Speedlight kind of ditched ditch them. Uh, Morgana really didn't even get her ult off. It was not very uh, not a very good engagement. Uh, at the end, they kind of split up, um, which they did not want to do. That that Yi kind of got greedy as he went away from his teammates and uh, basically cost him his life. So great uh, team fight for Team SK. Uh, a three to one trade, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was because they were at eight, uh, uh, eight to sixteen. Nah, I don't fucking know. But uh, the longer this game goes on, SK is going to be better off for it. I mean, yeah. So the Caitlyn's hitting 300 creeps. That's crazy. Um, I really don't care how m much this Morgana is farming if. She just does not carry hard, as hard as Master Yi, AD Master Yi would. And Corky, um, Corky needs a lot more farm if he wants to keep up with this Caitlyn. I mean, this Caitlyn is just farming cr like crazy. Uh, oh, it looks like a couple pings going on to uh, the Rise. I think that they're going to be ganking the Rise, though, but no. Oh, wow. Actually, there was. So, we need long fights. Uh, I guess... They're still in front. Yeah, well, okay, so they, they're... Uh, SK really is trying to focus uh, on making this a longer game. And uh, I think huh, I think the momentum has definitely shifted in SK's favor. I would, If I had to put my money on it, they would be winning right now because their late game... Because of the lack of initiation, the lack of... The, the lack of, of... I don't know. Guts by by Team Speedlight, they're not being aggressive enough with that early lead. And their team is not built for late game like uh, as as much as Team SK. And oh my goodness, ultimate on the Amumu, that's so weird. Uh, uh, he's going to get an ultimate off. Great ultimate off. And uh, Amumu goes down, but just not enough damage. This Yi needs to be in the middle. And uh, the Morgana goes down. Or no, the Mar that wasn't Morgana. That was the Janna. The Morgana's definitely going to fall down. The Yi really doesn't do all that much damage. Yeah, the Yi's going down. I really think uh, AD Yi would be much better, and the Corky's definitely going down. And the Morgana fell. Wow, so a team, oh, almost a team. Oh, no, the Morgana did not fall. Where is the Morgana? Oh, there she is. So almost a team wipe for Team SK, whereas uh, Team SK only lost Soraka and Ryze. And Ryze is bulky as shit, so that took a lot of damage to take them down. Whereas the Caitlyn, they need to be focusing the Caitlyn and the Malzahar. Uh, looks like maybe the ooh, Caitlyn might have a uh, have a kill off on no nope, on on the uh, Morgana, but guess not. But she did have red buff, and she also has she's double potted. She's got agility and fortitude. She's just content to go back to jungle um, in in her own uh, safety, while uh, she's got 318 creep kills. Yeah, this. This Caitlyn is probably going to be the reason why they will win. I, I bet I'm betting that they're going to win right now, easy. And they were losing so badly, but the momentum has shifted really bad. Uh, the Nunu, oh, what is the Nunu going? He needs to tank a little bit more. He's got a Banshees and a Heart of Gold, but nothing really, not not a lot else. He needs to get some more, some more monies, some more monies. But uh, the Boom's got 97 creep kills. Wow. They need to start focusing the the uh, Malzahar and the Caitlyn uh, and stop fucking around with that Rise. Yes, the Rise can put uh, a hurting on, but he's just so tanky. You can't really burst him down that quickly. Um, this Corky is their main damage dealer along with uh, Master Yi, but Master Yi can only put out or AP Master Yi can only put out so much damage when uh, when he's when his cooldowns are not as as low as they can be. I mean, he has no cooldown reduction items. Uh, with APE, you need to get that freaking alpha strike up as fast as possible. You need you need um, uh, max cooldowns ASAP, along with a lot of AP, which is why he's so hard to build. I mean, yes, he can be really tanky with his meditate, and he could do a lot of damage if he gets an alpha strike on everything, uh, but it looks like, no, the Yi will be fine. He's got a shield. He's got his ultimate. Oh, wow. Actually, maybe not. Uh, snowball, and yeah, that Yi is going to fall oh, by ultimate by the Malzahar. Wow, that's to stop him from meditating. 
but I really think that's a foolish uh, pick. I think APE was a very foolish pick. Um, they needed a better AP carry. Maybe a... Oh, man, I have no idea. I'm not a pro player, but... Um, APE just does not do do it for me. It does not get my my rumble in my jungle, if you know what I mean. Ooh, great trap by by the uh, the Caitlyn. Just she's just setting traps all over the place on major walkways and everything. It looks like a Baron attempt is going on. I do not think that they can get it done. Well, maybe they don't have the Yi. Uh, it's already halfway, whereas the Caitlyn is taking it down. Ooh, yeah, okay. So Baron's definitely gonna fall. Maybe a steal comes in. A steal coming in. Uh, oh, nope. Uh, far, far fans coming in. Oh, ultimate going off with the Morgana. Uh, that's going to be a huge damage. Huge damage. Wow. Oh, wow. So they, they she Quicksilver slashed all the way over. And oh, my gosh. This is a much better fight for them. But oh, they just get clustered too much. And with all the AoE ults from SK, just takes them down. A move is going to fall. This Morgana is definitely going to fall. Oh, Zonia is coming in. Uh, and this Yi is late to the party. He needs to get the fuck out of there. Wow. So it, that fight was going great for Speedlight, but then they got all clumped up together and then surrounded by by Team SK. And it was great kiting. Um, I'm surprised that that Quicksilver Sash, if you saw it, she got stunned by uh, Morgana's ult, and she immediately Quicksilver Sash and then trapped herself backwards because she knows she was going to be focused like hell. Um, and same with the same with the the flash by the Malzahar, uh, and that that's basically what saved that team fight was keeping that Caitlyn alive, making the other team chase her because they know that she they need to take care of her quick. And it looks like this might actually be a game, uh, maybe I'm not quite sure. Are they gonna keep pushing? No, they're gonna back up. They're gonna play it safe. Uh, smart move. I would do the same just because. Uh, they're, they were in single digits. Most of them were single digits, and they're just gonna clean up, uh, clean up Speedlight's uh, jungle here. And wow, a great, great item choice by Quicksilver Sash. And knowing right when that Morgana ult uh, went off and stunned you, boom! God, it's Quicksilver Sash trap, <laughs> just like that. Get the fuck out of there. And, uh, wow, she picked up a Last Whisperer and didn't finish her Hex Drinker. What? Why? I don't know. She's just getting a lot of magic resistance uh, against... I don't know. I mean, the Corky is their main damage dealer now. Um, I guess I guess because the Morgana was... She got that early. She got the Hex Drinker quite early. Um, so I guess to combat her and also give her some pretty good damage... Um, in the early game. So, okay, I understand that. She picked up her Bloodthirster now. She's going to start picking up some kills and start getting her stacks for, uh... There we go. There we go. Um, for her, for that Bloodthirster. Whereas, uh, let's see. Oh, Jana picked up her Shroud. Um... Ooh, it looks like they might have an engagement coming in mid. Soraka's being quite ballsy. She's looking for the war... Uh, for the wards. Just to clear everything out. And I guess they really don't care if she dies. Oh, she picked up a, a Reverie, which will help her team out quite a bit. Especially, wow, what a great item choice by that great support player. Uh, Reverie to keep these Mal uh, Malzahar and the... Whoa, see so her flying? Oh, okay. Uh, keeping the, the Caitlyn and the Malzahar safe with extra movement speed bo bonus. And also to help kite to chase all those great things so gr what a great item for her oh uh soraka is definitely going to be falling here uh ultimate goes down on the uh, on the amumu from malzar and that's great uh corky's going to get away but uh looks like uh speedlight is going to come away with this oh wait maybe not nope uh, this morgan is definitely dead they just do they just let this caitlin get way too farmed oh see ya oh Oh, SK got him with the Silence Wall. Very surprised. Yeah, they just let this Caitlyn get way too farmed. And uh, 336, wow. Yeah, they really did not gank her enough. They are not focusing her enough. And uh, she had a pretty nice build against that Morgana, who was doing so well early game. And this it's really rests on this Corky because he's the only attack damage that they have. Uh, and he's really the only one that's putting out... Uh, enough damage 
So it looks like uh, SK's pretty much got this in the bag now. I mean, Super Minion Push coming in on their uh, on their, on their heart and, wow, 20 seconds on most of their champions. Uh, but they're not going to be pushing. They're going to be pushing this bottom lane. See uh, the Caitlyn backdoor this, maybe? No? Okay, no, she's going to go farm the wolves, it looks like. I know she is going to backdoor this. No? Maybe? Yeah, she is. Uh, I don't think she can do it, though. Yeah, she can. Uh, Nunu's just fucking around in their in their home, and... Yep, Nunu's definitely going to fall. I don't really know what's going on here. Okay, good job, Sleazy. <coughs> so, uh, the, two, the, two, the two carries just going, doing work against Dragon. Malzahar's now up to 234, and he... You saw what he did to that uh, poor Mumu. Anyone he ults and he doesn't get stopped right away is going to suck. It's going to suck for him. That's why he ulted. I'm pretty sure that's why he ulted that Amumu so he could not get stunned by his uh, by Amumu's ult. Because they don't really have a lot of stuns. Yeah, they don't have stuns besides Morgana's ultimate as well. So, uh, that Malzahar is going to basically just take down whoever he wants on their team. And... Uh, in that case, it was Amumu just because he caught him before he did a stun. Amumu is pretty much not uh, his 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 big deal to the team fight is that great stun and obviously the initiation from his bandage toss. Hmm, and it looks like they're going to be pushing mid. Uh, he's got a brilliance uh, elixir of brilliance and elixir of fortitude, so very nice. And she's got the agility and the fortitude. It looks like maybe oh uh, no, just fortitude. He's red. I don't know why I said agility. Just because I think that's the what she should have gotten. Why? What's her What's her attack speed? Not maxed. It's uh, 1.5. So looks like they're gonna do some split pushing here. Rise kind of goes in, uh, baits the bandage toss, and he's just gonna be sitting there taking everything from uh, the Corky. But he's such a freaking boss tank, and the Corky's gonna go down. This Caitlyn's gonna come in and mop everything up. Wow! I'm surprised with the help of Soraka. This Rise is a tank. Oh my goodness! This Caitlyn is just freaking. Just going banana crazy on all these people. Oh my god, a quad kill. Oh, it looks like, come on, baby, get the get the penta. Get the penta, get the penta. Yeah, maybe? Oh, no, too, a little too late. Well, she she got every one of those kills, so oh, that's a penta in my book. And this is pretty, this is definitely GG. Uh, they're, they're, <laughs> they're pushing with all their gusto right now, and yeah, there's nothing, there's, I, there's 40 seconds till everyone comes back. Oh, she didn't even bother with that. She's just going to get some nice damage in on these towers. And that's the that's definitely the game. What a comeback for SK Gaming against Speedlight, who played an amazing early game. And now they're calling the GGs. Wow. And that's that's just the comebacks, comeback kid story, guys. Uh, you got... If you have a better... If you know you have a... Oh, let me... Sorry, it's kind of loud. If you know you have a better late game... Man, turtle the 